After that, Salvashura, I sat in the space above, at a height of twelve palmero trees, and attained the state of forbearance with regard to unproduced phenomena. Just as if it were yesterday or today, I remember directly all those rules of virtue from when I practiced celibacy for countless years and was endowed with the perfections. Furthermore, Salvashura, I established countless hundreds of thousands of married millions of centered beings individually in virtuous tama. Therefore, Salvashura, now having been manifesting completely enlightenment into unsurpassed perfect and complete enlightenment, what needs is there to mention that I wish to benefit all sentient beings? Salvashura, I teach the Tama in many ways to sentient beings. Whatever the form by which they are to be subdued, I teach the Tama in that form. In the world of the Devas, I teach the Tama in the form of Deva. In the land of Nagas, I teach the Tama in the form of Naga. In the land of the Yakshas, I teach the Tama in the form of Yaksha. In the land of Praetas, I teach the Tama in the form of Praetor. In the world of humans, I teach the Tama in the form of a human. To those sentient beings who are to be subdued by a Buddha, I teach the Tama in the form of a Buddha. To those sentient beings who are to be subdued by a Bodhisattva, I teach the Tama in the form of a Bodhisattva. By whatever form it is, the sentient beings are to be subdued, I teach Tama in that very form. Thus, Salavashura, I teach the Tama, so the sentient beings in many ways. If one should wonder why that is, Salavashura, it is because just as sentient beings hear the Tama in many ways, so to those sincere sentient beings will make roots of virtue in many ways. They will engage in the acts of generosity, they will take merit. They will also go without sleep for their own sake. They will meditate on the mindfulness of death too. They will do such virtuous actions as these are to be done. Due to having heard the Tama, they will remember this precious previous root of virtue that will come to be for the long time aim, long term aim, benefit and happiness of devas and humans. Salvashura, that hu that being so as soon as the Sanghata Tama Payaya is heard, the good quality and benefits in this way become immutable. Then the sentient beings spoke to one another. They said, There must be something else also that, by having done and accumulated it, one will be manifestly, completely enlightened in the unsurpassed perfect and complete enlightenment, and the root of the virtuous Tama of wanting to benefit all sentient beings will ripen. Those who have come to trust in the Tama will say, there is a Tama perfectly in accord with things as they are. The great ripening result of their virtue will be the unsurpassed happiness of the Tama. As for the ignorant, foolish, sentient beings who say that there aren't any Tamas and there is no passing beyond the Tamas either, their great ripening result will be to go to bad migrations again and again. They will be aiming for grounds of bad migrations. For it ends, they will experience the suffering sensations of the hell realms. For twelve ends, they will experience the suffering sensations in the land of Praetors. For sixteen ends, they will be born among the Asuras. For nine thousand ends, they will be born among the harmful Putas and Pichachas. For 14,000 years, they will be without tongues. For 16,000 years, they will die in their mother's womb. For 12,000 years, they will become round lumps of flesh. For 11,000 years, they will be born blind and will experience sufferings, sensations, and their parents will think. We have suffered meaninglessly. The birth of our son are meaninglessly. Was meaninglessly. Was meaningless. Burying him in the womb for nine months was meaningless. 
they will experience the sensation of cold and heat. They will also experience the suffering of hunger and thirst intensely. They will experience many sufferings in this life as well. Although the parents see a sign in their house, there is no joy, and the parents' hopes will be utterly dashed.